In this video, we will review how to create a table. Before opening Access, make sure you list all of your tables and the fields that they will contain. You also have to consider the relationships between the tables. You can see in this example that we have standard one-to-many relationships. Make sure that your data types for your primary keys and foreign keys are identical. If they're not, you'll have trouble establishing relationships between the tables. To create a table, click the Create tab and then click on Table Design. Our first field in the Artist table will be Artist ID. This will have a number data type with a long integer field size. Pay attention to the properties for each field. You may need to customize those. Next we have Artist Name. Short text is fine for the data type for this, but the field size is too large. 60 should be plenty. Artist ID will be our primary key, so we will set that here. And then save the table and close it. Now, this table does not have any data. I have data for it, but it needs to be imported. Click External Data, and then the artist data is in an Excel file. So we'll click on Excel, browse for the table, click on the file, click Open. And since we already have the structure for the table, we will append the Excel data to the table. and we do not need to save the import step, so I will just click Close. So that takes care of our first table. Our next table will be imported from a text file. So again, on the External Data tab, I will click on Text File. Then I will browse for the table, click on it, click Open, and this time we do want to import the source data into a new table because we don't have one an existing table to append it to. And when you import data like this, just read the wizard screens carefully. Um, this one is a tab delimited text file, so I will keep it with delimited. Click Next. The first row does contain the field name, so I need to check that. And then click Next. Um, you can make customizations here if desired. Click Next, and we will choose our own primary key that will be Album ID here, and then Next, and then Finish. And then we'll close this, and that takes care of our second table. The third table will be imported from another Access database. So we'll click Access this time, browse for it, click on it, click Open, and we do want to import tables. So we'll click OK, and then you choose the tables to import, and in this particular example we only have one. So we'll click OK for that one. and then we'll close it and then our final table will be a linked table um, it's an Excel file so we'll click Excel again browse for it open and again this will be a linked table so you can see this is not difficult you just have to read the wizard screens carefully and the first row does contain the column heading so we need to make sure that's checked So now our tables are complete. The last part of this objective covers application parts. So I'm going to close this database and create a new one to demonstrate the application parts very quickly.
application parts are designed to help you get a really quick start if you need like a canned database. You can click on the Create tab, click Application Parts, and then choose whatever applies. Like, for example, if you needed to work with contacts, if you click on Contacts here, you're going to get a Contacts table. You've already got a sample query and then a couple of forms and a couple of reports. So this would help you get off to a very quick start. You wouldn't have to recreate or, excuse me, create all of this stuff from scratch.